Hello everyone. I'm a teacher and I love rockets. So that's why I started teaching students about rockets. In the 60s and the 70s, humanity went out of space, even the moon. This inspired so many people to do so much more. But instead, we just stopped. We confined ourselves to practically the protective layers of the Earth. We started using the technology that we had built for whatever benefit we could. Large industrial complex came up in countries like the USA, Russia, China. These were countries whose space programs had evolved from a national security and a defense perspective. Over the next five, six decades, we built thousands of rockets and thousands of satellites. Even a couple of orbital space stations. But never really did we go out there to explore again. Meanwhile, India started working on space technology. India was different. India was the world's only civilian first space program. It was based on this daring and unprecedented vision of Vikram Sarabhai to be second to none for the application of space technology for the benefit and betterment of society. It was under this vision that over the next five decades, we created a pioneering space program. Today, the Indian space program is one of the global leaders in space technology. And it stands tall on the cusp of this global shift towards space exploration. The Indian space program has a very, very large role to play in taking our human values to space, to go out there for our unlimited curiosity and not for our limited borders. Today, when I walk into a class and ask a group of students, would you like to go to space? What would you like to do when you grow up? Would you like to go to the moon? Maybe Mars? They all get super excited. Yes, I would love to go to space. I want to build a rocket. That sounds so exciting. I want to be an astronaut. It doesn't stop there. On a daily basis, I get at least four or five emails of young students asking me, how can I be an astronaut? What are the required skills? Where can I learn these skills? Can you help me? These young students, they're dreamers, they're explorers. I'm sure just like you were as children. I got very lucky with my dream. I got a chance to go to the Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology in Thiruvananthapuram in Kerala. I got a chance to go into ISRO and actually build and test space hardware. Not everybody gets that chance. Usually, life gives you a certain set of opportunities, you take them, you raise a family, you build a house, and those dreams of the stars and the cosmos, they just float away. But for this generation, it's a different situation. This generation, in my opinion, will be the first one to see humanity become truly spacefaring. They will see as we explore outer space and beyond. They will see as we go to the moon and stay there. They will see as we build cities on Mars. Imagine for a moment these explorers of the future. Imagine the kind of lives they will lead. Imagine the kind of skills they will have the kind of minds they will need. It is from this generation of students that we have to build that large human resource pool of explorers with the astronaut mindset. And what is this astronaut mindset, you may ask? Not only will they need immense, immense amounts of patience, grit, collaboration skills, but they will also need a mind that is sharp, alert and focused while at the same time retaining its curiosity and imagination. A mind like that, combined with the core engineering skill set and scientific know-how, will not just sustain and survive in space, it will thrive on the adventure. Space education today, it tries to capture this imagination and nurture it. It does that with astronomy, space-based talks, interaction with scientists and engineers, interaction with actual astronauts, even a lot of industry visits to ISRO and NASA facilities. But for me, the most effective way to instill these skills in children while retaining their curiosity and their vision towards the stars is to enable them to build and fly their own rockets. Rocketry captures human emotion in a manner that is 
unparalleled. I have personally seen more than 50,000 rocket launches. But till today, my heart soars and I jump up and down in excitement at the sight of a successful launch. And I see the same reaction from spectators all around me every time. But rocketry not only excites and stimulates, it also provides that very organic learning path for the core engineering skills that are so necessary for this industry. It combines that unbound creativity and imagination of children with those fundamental values of patience, grit, and collaboration to create the minds that will take on these roles and responsibilities that the age of space exploration will bring with it. We already see this happening in the US, where rocketry not only sowed the seeds of a thriving space industry, but saw it grow into a massive ecosystem. Today in the US, students and enthusiasts fly more than 15 million rockets every year. And with this, they create hundreds of startups and thousands of scientists and engineers. So with this vision of creating a large human resource pool for the space industry and creating that generation of astronauts from the ground up, I began Rocketeers. I aim to create a large, vibrant ecosystem for the country and make rocketry highly accessible and extremely safe for students and enthusiasts across the country. This will not only help us leapfrog the global industry, but it will take our dreams and those of our children to the stars. When I began back in 2016, rocketry in India was practically non-existent. There were less than 500 rockets flying with less than 1,000 students engaged, very, very few enthusiasts working in silos. A very basic model rocket used to cost 9,000 rupees. Since 2016, we've managed to do some very interesting things. We have not only created this market for rocketry from scratch, but today hold practically nearly 100% of it. We manufacture rocketry parts and components, We've commercialized the first indigenous range of solid fuel powered model rocket motors. We make launch and ignition equipment and safety gear. And while doing all of this, we've engaged more than 2.5 lakh students, more than 250,000 students. And we have flown more than 150,000 rockets. While all of this was happening, we also created a lot of awareness about rocketry within and outside the government to push for sustainable and supporting regulation. We believe that 2020 will become the first year where India will fly more than 100,000 rockets within the same year. Through this process, we've brought down the cost of that model rocket from 9,000 rupees to just 900 today. Out of this very rocketry ecosystem, I believe will evolve the education system and the pedagogy of the future. It will go beyond our formal education and create the resources, the approach, the curriculum necessary to make humanity space ready. It will create the school for astronauts. We are fast approaching that tipping point where we will have the technological ability to explore the moon, Mars and our solar system beyond. But at the same time, we should make sure we have established and woven into our education system the infrastructure, the facilities, and the curriculum that will create these explorers of tomorrow, not just in their skill set, but also in their mindset. This rocketry ecosystem will unlock the human space enterprise. Yes, you can become an astronaut. You can learn the required skills. You can fulfill your dreams, and you can do it right here. The only question is, do you want to? The children of the 21st century most definitely do. Thank you.